Right, so this is my grow light that I'm building out of a Costco shelf and LED strips. Uh, so these, this is how I connected it. So basically there's a plus. If you look closely, there's a plus and a minus. So there's a little plus and a little minus right there. So all you have to do is connect the red wire to the plus side and the black wire to the minus side. And I just chain them together here and to show you without the shrink wrap. So then you just connect them like that. And you just put the shrink wrap on. And then you just shrink wrap that. And what I did here was put the... So I just lined them up along the edge here to keep everything straight. I still haven't put the zip ties on yet, but what I'll be doing is just zip tying every few, every few inches to keep this from falling over. And the connection is really simple to the power supply. So this power supply is a 12 amp power supply. And this cord here, this is just a regular uh, a regular cord you'd find on the back of a computer or a monitor. And inside there's three wires. There's the black, white, and green. So if you look up here, the L, you connect your black wire. N is the white one. And then the green one's going to the ground here. So you connect those three that way. All you do is just unscrew those. It's very simple, you just unscrew any of these and then screw them in to tighten your wire when you put them in. And also here you see V minus V plus. So you want your red wire to be on the on one of these V plus and the other one you want on the minuses, the minus. So now I can show you, just plug it in and to show you what it's gonna look like and after I'll show you when it's mounted to the light. So there it is, so that's how you, grow, how you make a cheap grow light. All right, so here's the rack that's installed. As you can see the little zip ties, the little red zip ties here, they're holding up the lights now. And I just wanna show you the difference here between the LED lights that I installed and the fluorescent lights here. I'm gonna zoom out a little. So if you see the difference in height, right here between this part here and this rack here, the fluorescent light requires a lot more space and there's actually less room for the plants to grow. And if you look at this one here, you can see these pea shoots are about three, four inches now, and there's still a lot of room that they have to grow. So here's the wiring again. So your V minus and V plus is that wire that's going up into the lights. I showed you earlier on how to wire. And then on the left here is the main power supply that's plugged in. I just plugged it into my fluorescent light here, which is connected to the main power. Yeah, your green wire is ground, the white wire to the end, and the black wire to the L. So what I'll eventually do is mount it up here. Maybe I'll 3D print a part or something just to have it mounted off of the other shelf.